Hey, good morning. And yeah, it is cold. Downright chilly uh, out there this morning as uh, that cooler push or that stronger push of cold air has definitely arrived in North Texas. And basically outside right now is as warm as it's going to get throughout the day today and probably as warm as it's going to be until maybe mid afternoon tomorrow. Maybe 46 at Love Field feeling like 41. Thankfully, no delays there after messy day yesterday. It's damp, it's drizzly, so that could create some delays at the airports and obviously slow you down uh, this morning on the area roadways as well. 45 out of uh, DFW airport feeling like 38 different situation on the radar this morning. Widespread heavy rain has moved out, but we do have some passing showers and kind of that steady or intermittent drizzle depending on where you are. Uh, so we'll be dealing with that as we head throughout the morning hours. That'll just keep those roadways uh, damp and slick and it'll also just keep it a damp and chilly and kind of a gross day throughout the day as well. So here you go. I mean, it's, it's, it's not raining heavily at any point during the day today, but it's just on and off drizzle. It's maybe some passing showers here or there. The overall coverage of rain throughout the day today, I think will be kind of on the lower side, but just that intermittent drizzle and and passing shower activity will be out there. I do expect kind of an uptick in shower coverage late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here you go. Here's another round moving in late tonight, midnight, two, three in the morning by seven o'clock. There's still a little lingering rain. I don't see that causing any flooding issues, though. I don't think it'll be heavy enough to cause any, uh, you know, significant flooding issues. I mean, could there be some, you know, nuisance flooding or some, you know, minor issues here or there? Sure, but I don't see significant problems overnight with that round of rain. It's a little light rain as you start the day tomorrow. That'll come to a close as we head toward the noon hour, and then we'll be dealing just with chilly temperatures and dry weather tomorrow afternoon and evening. But here's what happens with the temps today. We just stay in the 40s all day long. They'll basically just kind of slowly drop throughout the day, and by uh, this evening and into tonight, it'll be a mixture of upper 30s to low 40s at 7 o'clock. That'll obviously continue into the overnight hours, and by tomorrow morning, it'll be mostly in the 30s as you start your Monday, and with a decent breeze out of the north, it'll feel significantly colder than that to start tomorrow. So this is what the kids wake up to or what they're walking out the door to. But remember, your wind chills tomorrow morning will probably be low to mid 30s, maybe even some upper 20s across western North Texas to start tomorrow morning. So yes, that's what you need to dress for to start the day. In fact, yeah, here you go. Wind chills, upper 20s, low 30s to start Monday morning, dress warm, and then Monday afternoon will only be in the uh, 40s for highs as well. I don't see very many places with a freeze tomorrow morning, but I do see the potential for a freeze tomorrow night and into Tuesday morning, especially across western and northern North Texas. If you don't see a freeze, you could potentially see a frost. Uh, that would be Tuesday morning. So if you have any tender vegetation, be aware of that, and you're going to need to protect it over the next several days, especially Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and maybe even Thursday morning as well. So there you go. It's a high of 49 tomorrow. Then we're back into the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday, warming up a little bit more on Thursday with those 60s. And then if you don't like the cold weather, we'll just wait until later this week. We're back in the 70s late week and into next weekend. And after we get rid of the rain tomorrow, we're going to be drying out, which is not, I mean, I, we've been begging for rain and we finally got pretty much too much of it at, uh, in too, too short amount of time. So I'm glad to see us drying out a little bit, uh, but we do have some more rain chances back in the forecast, maybe that following week.